Uh, well, it would appear I cannot get away from Design Spark Mechanical because I've had yet another uh, query on how to do something with it. It's how can you show three different views with dimensions and print them out on your printer. Well, there is a way to do it. It's a bit convoluted, but it can be done. And I've got a demo picture here that I'm going to put a few dimensions on and then show it in three different orientations and a perspective orientation. And how I, what I sometimes do to print out the whole thing. Well, here I've got my Lego brick. H key. Okay, so we'll put some dimensions on this. We've got the dimension tool active here. So we'll right click on this face. Choose set as annotation plane. I've got an annotation plane in bold here. So we can go from there to there. The length. Uh, we can now go from there to there. That's the height. And now right click on this one and we'll set that one as an annotation plane. So we've got another annotation plane there. So now we can go from side to side and I've got the width. Good. So the next step is choose display tab here and split window. Go to four view ports and look it's put us in the top side end view and the perspective view. Now you may want to make sure you're in orthographic or perspective view Uh, choose perspective or orthographic. We seem to be in orthographic, so watch what happens when I choose perspective. You see, we're not looking down like a normal drawing. You can see that peg behind there. So you might want to normally use the orthographic view. But you see we've got a top side and then view and a, 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 an isometric view. Now here we've got a dimension off the screen. So I'm going to just drag it down a bit. And again here. Now you may prefer to put dimensions here, from side to side on here. So we're still in dimensions, we've got to go back to split one viewport. Now we can do it, right click, set as annotation plane. Now we can put 40 there and 20 there. So you might prefer that. Go back to split window. Yeah, 40, 20. And we've still got these here. Okay, now then, we might want to print this out. So I've got my computer Windows system configured so that if I press the print screen key, the view becomes dark 
and we've got this little bar up here. We can clip out pieces, a square, a square or rectangle. We can a freeform snip, window snip, a full screen snip, or close it. I'm going to stick with this rectangular snip. So we'll take the cursor up to the just outside the top left hand corner, hold the left key down, left mouse button down and drag, release. And we'll get this little thing that comes up. The snip has been saved to the clipboard. Click here to mark up and share the image. I've done that. So there you go, you can mark it up, you've got various pens, touch writing, pens, different pens, highlighter, eraser, a rule, ruler, oh, I don't like that word, and a crop. So I, 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 I don't use this, I prefer to use Adobe Photoshop. So if I fire that up, there we are. Now watch this. It's getting cluttered. <laughs> right, so I control N for new a new screen. Click OK. Then control. to dump it in. So now I can print it out from here. So we can go to the print. Right there we go. Page setup, we'll just check that. See what we've got. A3 printer, yes. Landscape. Okay, document, Epson, right, that's me, A3 printer. Uh, let's have a go at this. It's saying the image is larger than the paper's printable area. Some clipping may occur. Oh, we'll just proceed with that and see what comes out. Oh, it's coming out not too bad. And there you are. Of course, you can add your own um, boxes on here before you print it out to your name in and all the rest of it, scale and all this kind of thing. But the, you can't actually do it, a bit convoluted as I say, but it is possible. Hope that might be useful to somebody. Bye for now. Bye.